Good morning, you guys. Uh, so I have just a few minutes. Um, Jonathan is sleeping, and I don't know how long he's going to be sleeping. So um, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to dispense with a whole bunch of pleasantries um, and just get right down to business, um, which is uh, that I want to pray for our president this morning, and I would like for you to uh, to join with me. Um, and, uh, and then I want to pray over you. If he, if he doesn't start crying, then I want to take the time to pray over you, um, and your day. Okay. So whatever you're doing, uh, you can join with me, whether you're driving to work or you're, um, you're getting dressed for work or getting dressed for school, eating breakfast, whatever it is you're doing, uh, you can join with me. Just join your heart, join your faith with me. All right. Well, Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for who you are. First and foremost, we just want to we just want to address you and and tell you how wonderful we think you are and how thankful we are for your unspeakable gift, the gift of righteousness. A righteousness that is not our own, but that you have given to us a perfect righteousness, your very own righteousness that affords us the ability every day, every moment of every day of our lives to come boldly into your presence, to have full confidence towards you, to know that you hear us and, and that our prayers avail much because we are righteous people. And so, uh, and so as those who have, who have or who are in good standing with you who stand upright before you and not bow down in shame <laughs> we we lift our president president donald j trump we lift him before you today we thank you for him we thank you for uh for all of the great things that he has accomplished for our nation uh for the uh for the the ways that he, you have used him to undo so much of the damage that has, that was done, that was uh, imposed upon us as a, as a, as a nation from previous presidents. And, and I thank you for the things that are yet to come that in 2020, President Trump is going to uh, be able to do, uh, accomplish the next phase of your plan for him being in office and the, the great, um, exploits, exploits, nothing short of exploits that he's going to accomplish, um, in, in his next, in his next term. And, uh, we pray today that wherever he is and whatever he's doing, that you would encourage his heart. We pray that you would strengthen him in his inner man. We pray that you would baptize him with the Holy Ghost and fire. We pray that he would have encounters with you that would leave him forever changed, that you would speak to his heart in, in ways that are undeniably, unmistakably you, that he would know, that he would hear a voice as he stands at a crossroad so many times as, as, the, as the president of the United States dealing with dignitaries and presidents and leaders of other nations and as he sits behind the desk in the Oval Office and he's got a, and he goes to meetings here, there, and everywhere, and, and he has to make decisions, always standing at a crossroad, having to make major decisions. We pray that he would hear a voice behind him, your voice behind him, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. And that he would have the, the faith and the confidence to trust that leading. And that as he does that, more and more con 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 consistently listening to your voice, listening to godly, wise counsel, the counsel of heaven, <laughs> the counsel of heaven spoken into his ears, whispered to his heart in the night watches. We thank you that the results of that will be beautiful, will be glorious, 
will be nothing short of spectacular. Thank you. Thank you. We trust you to keep him safe. We thank you for your angels that keep watch all day and all night that they never need a rest. We thank you that every plan of the enemy, every attempt to bring harm to our, our president, to his family, to any member of his administration, that, that all of them are, are, are proven to be unfruitful, that no weapon formed against him prospers. We decree life, health, strength, wisdom, the spirit of wisdom. Let the spirit of wisdom rest upon President Trump. Let the spirit of might rest upon President Trump. We bless you. We bless you and we bless our president today. In the name of the Lord. And now, Lord, I want to pray for the people who watch this video. I thank you that you know them, that you know their thoughts before they think them. You know their thoughts are far off. And I thank you that, that the thoughts you think toward them are more in number than they could count. That they are never out of your mind. That, that you, don't, you aren't so busy with taking care of important things that, that they get pushed to the back burner and and uh and and have to just hope that that you'll find time to think about them and pay attention to their issues no 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 lord thank you that they are the apple of your eye that they are the most sensitive part of you that whatever touches them you immediately feel it it touches you and you respond and and you care Thank you. Thank you for that. And I pray that you would bring an, an assurance to their hearts today that they are seen, that they are known, that they are loved perfectly by you, and that you are working on their behalf, that whatever it is that they're facing, whatever the trials are, whatever the situations are, whatever the, um, the issues are that are maybe unresolved issues, that you are working in their lives, that you are working behind the scenes and under the surface, and that there's more being done than what they are conscious of, than what is evident on the, on the surface, and that they can trust you, that they can rest, that they can let go of control, the need to have some element, some level of control, that they can just let go of the reins, Turn them over to you, and they can just rest. That they can rest in your love for them. Hmm. I thank you, Lord, that you sing over them songs of de deliverance. And I speak in agreement with heaven over your life today. I speak freedom over you. It is for freedom that Christ has made you free. You are free in Christ. He has made you free from every stronghold of the enemy. So be free. He has reconciled you unto himself. So be reconciled to God. He loves you. So be loved today. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Please share this, share this. I don't have access to my Facebook account anymore and uh, still praying that God is going to uh, resolve that issue for me. Um, but uh, in the meantime, um, thank you, by the way, for the new sub subscribers. I'm up to 77. Boop, boop. <laughs> um, but uh, I absolutely de de depend upon you guys sharing. And, uh, and if you watch this, uh, sub subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I do videos like this. All right.